Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are watching me for the first time, my name is Sail Agarwal. I've just completed my B.Tech in Computer Science from IIT Gandhinagar. I'm also going to join DE Show as a software developer in a few weeks. On this channel, I make videos related to everything which you should be knowing in order to crack a internship or a placement offer at any service-based or product-based companies. Be it about DSA preparation, about projects, about interview preparation, etc., etc. I also make videos related to college and engineering. as i am an iit and i will also try to tell you the reality of an iitian's life which is hidden from the outside world in this video i will be clearing all your confusions regarding what actually a company asks for internships and placements many students don't know what these companies eventually ask and that is why they lack confidence in their preparation i feel that if you know what a company is going to ask you can prepare in the direction that helps a lot so in this video i will tell you everything from a to z about what actually a service based company and a product based company asks in their coding rounds in the technical interviews in their hr interviews so watch the video till the end and for more such informative videos you can subscribe to the channel like the video share it with all your friends keep supporting and showering love i will always make sure that the quality of my videos is top notch or the content of my videos is top notch i will never let you down with the content of my videos so without any delay let's start the video mostly this video is going to be centered around the role of a software developer so if you want a similar video on a different role you can comment down okay so first and foremost we will talk about the product based companies so you would have heard names like google microsoft amazon uber swiggy zomato right so these are some of the biggest uh, product based companies which are out there in the market. market so these are the companies which come on campus for hiring in some of the colleges you can also apply in these companies off campus so once you have applied whether it is on campus or off campus your resume gets shortlisted based on a screening which happens so mostly eligibility criteria includes your cgpa so if your cgpa is more than 8 8.5 i think you will be good to go for most of the product based companies then comes the coding round so mostly the questions which are there in the coding round are centered around dsa and a little bit of aptitude but if you see that 90% of the coding rounds will be based on data structures and algorithms they will give you two to three coding questions to solve in a stipulated amount of time after you have cleared your coding round most of the companies conduct two to three technical interviews so most of the questions in these technical rounds are centered around data structures and algorithms uh, they ask you questions related to the projects uh, which you have put inside your resume they will also ask you questions related to cs fundamental subjects like oops dbms o and sin which is mostly taught in all the colleges if you are a computer science student if you are not a computer science student don't worry there are plethora of resources available on internet you can learn from there after you have cleared all the technical rounds some of the companies conduct one more round which is called the hr round so in this hr round there will be one manager which who will be talking to you and mostly this round is to assess your personality or communication skills and the most famous questions that they will ask you in these rounds are like uh, what are your weaknesses what are your strengths where do you see yourself in the next 5 years can you work in teams or not how do you handle difficult situations basically these companies want employees who can fit in their company's culture so if a person is good at communication skills and is also technically sound uh, that's the best choice for these companies so that is why to check your personality to check your communication skills they conduct this hr round and it is just a communication between you and the manager so it is not a round which is quite quite stressful as compared to technical rounds where you have to solve questions if you not if you don't solve questions you will not be selected but in this hr rounds questions are fixed and you can search on internet for the top 20 questions of an hr round and you will get those and you can prepare beforehand so sorry to interrupt you guys but apart from dsa some core csc subjects are also very important when it comes to coding interviews one such subject is object oriented programming which is very very important and many questions are asked in the coding interviews that is why i have come up with my own oops course in the language c++ the link is in the description you can check it out already 31 students have enrolled in the course and are enjoying the content you can also be the next one if you you want to learn every oop concept in detail and strengthen your oops knowledge go check out the link in the description and do enroll if you like the content let's get back to the video one more additional thing which i wanted to say that in some of the technical interviews they also ask you puzzles and aptitude based questions so if you prepare for these puzzles that is a good thing now if i summarize what all i said so starting from the coding round where the questions were centered around dsa then we moved on to the technical interviews where again the questions 
questions were centered around DSA, uh, questions uh, from projects in your resume, questions from CS fundamental subjects, then we moved on to the HR round. So now I am sure that after watching this, you would have gotten a clarity of what actually does a product based company ask. You just need to be good at three to four things like DSA your projects in your resume the third thing is his fundamental subject and the fourth is the communication skills which obviously is very very important if you want to succeed in your life don't prepare something which a company does not ask for because there is no benefit in that right whatever i've told prepare for those things and you will be good to go next we will talk about the service based companies you would have heard about the companies like tcs Wipro, Infosys, IBM and Accenture. So these are some of the top service based companies in India, which are quite famous for coming on campus and hiring in masses. So if these companies are not coming on your campus, don't worry, you can apply in these companies off campus also. Compared to the product based companies, which only focuses on developing products and simply sustaining them, service based companies are centered around clients and businesses. Therefore, service based companies must be flexible, must employ enormous workforces and rely on a lot of teamwork this is why those people who want to land a job in the top service based companies of india need to prepare for the interviews keeping in mind the core objective of the company the interview process of a service based company is quite different from those of the product based companies but the interview rounds of a service based company is not tough as product ones so if you want to clear these service based companies and get a job in these i will tell you the selection process which is followed by most of the service based companies in India. So first and foremost, they will conduct an aptitude round. The questions which, which will be there in the aptitude round will be centered around logical reasoning, problem solving, maths and verbal ability. You can always prepare for the aptitude round by going on Geeks for Geeks and searching for the top questions which are asked by the service based companies in India. You will get a list of a lot of questions. You can solve them and get a good practice. Then after you have cleared the aptitude round, most of the companies conduct a coding round where again the questions will be based on DSA uh, but here the DSA will not be as difficult as in the case of product based companies. You will also get some MCQs to solve if you have a basic knowledge of a programming language if you know the basics of coding and DSA mostly you will be able to you know answer these MCQs. Then after you have cleared the coding round there will be a technical interview and mostly the questions in these technical interviews will be centered around DSA. If you have some projects in your resume they will they can ask you questions on that also and rest of the questions can be based on CS fundamental subjects like DBA, MS, SQL, OOPS, CN and OS. But again keep in mind that the DSA questions which they ask are not as difficult as compared to the product based companies. Uh, these are quite simple ones. If you have solved the standard DSA problems most you will be good to go. Next is the HR round again similar to the product based companies. You can prepare for these HR rounds by searching on internet for the top 20 or 30 questions of an HR round and that will help you a lot. I am sure that after watching this video, you have got a clarity in your mind that what you should be preparing for cracking a product based company or a service based company. I feel that knowing your target is very important because then only you can move towards it. When we talk about cracking these companies, mostly the target should be learning about these subjects, learning about DSA, learning about CS fundamental subjects, adding good projects in your resume, sharpening your communication skills. Because if you focus on these things, you will have the potential of cracking any company in India because the interview process and the kind of questions these companies ask are more or less the same. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and learned something new. For more such informative videos, you can definitely subscribe to the channel. I will meet you in the next one. Till then, keep learning, keep growing and stay healthy.